Hello, welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you are catching this part, you are probably catching the replay. So make sure to say hi, comment hashtag replay. Let us know that you are here. And if you are catching this live, make sure to say hi when you hop on. I am always having trouble with this pinning thing all of a sudden. So as you hop on, make sure to say hi. I'm going to do my sharing and we will go ahead and get started showing you this new inventory. So, hey Barb, we have Liberty here today. Hi. You also notice we hey, have a Jenny. new backdrop. Yes, check it out guys. We've moved spots in the basement. Which is kind of fun because then it's also neat that instead of staring at these leggings that you've seen so many times, which there's nothing wrong <laughs> with staring at the leggings, we're going to have some of the stuff that like we've uh, covered like in more recent lives. So if you're ever like, hey, what's that top behind you or something like that, we can be like, you mean this beautiful top? <laughs> but yeah, it's fun to kind of see a different part of Rachel's basement that maybe if you haven't been able to come shop face to face, you know, that it's fun to see uh, just some of the different areas in the basement here and how it's all set up. Hi, Marie. Hi, Carol. Hello. Hi, Barb. How is everybody today? It's been a beautiful Wednesday here yes. in Michigan. It's feeling like spring. I think uh, it got up to like 55 today, which is like, I mean, I went outside at some point today to put something in the car and I was like, oh, it's warm out here. This feels <laughs> so pleasant. It's so pleasant. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jill. Hi, Shauna. Thanks, Kathy. It is fun to kind of have this little uh, location. Of course, the A and D letters had to travel with, so That's you'll right. recognize those. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, so maybe we'll move around now, just depending on the day. Keep you on your toes, right? Or keep us on our toes, too. You guys always keep us on our toes, so we might as well keep you guys on uh, your toes, too. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> I finally got it out. Yeah. So it's I'm just 72 in Dallas. Oh, goodness. Lucky. I don't even know. You know, I, I have to say, actually, I am like a 72 to 76 type of person. And also depending on humidity. But anything over 80 is absolute trash for me. For me. This is just like, I just, I can't do it. I'm just like kind of the sweaty human being and it's just like I love the 70s and then it gets to the 80s and as long as there's a breeze that's great but what where are you Marie she has her lilac bush is blooming what that's what I'm seeing where are you yeah, you know, my 72 friend, here in Colorado, my um, reference Charlene was telling us today, she's like, I hope spring is over soon. Her allergies are bothering oh, her. Yeah. And I'm like, spring is just starting I know, here. I know. But this is that time of year that if you have those seasonal allergies, you can just get hit with them. And it's so uncomfortable. Your, your face is just like, you know, so let's see here, Marie, you, that must be, um, so Princeton, Illinois must be Southern Illinois, I'm assuming, because like I always think that Illinois is not that, I mean, it's in the Midwest, it's not too far from where we are in Michigan, um, but you must be in Southern Illinois, because Illinois is like one of those long, long states and lots of different kind of like climate zones and things. So yeah, Kathy, uh, oh, you know, it's funny though, Natalie, because when you say still rainy in California, you guys still need like more rain than anybody, right? You need like just as much rain uh, as like, uh, what? Oh my gosh, this is awful. This is my pregnancy brain at work. I couldn't <laughs> tell you where Las Vegas, but I felt I always feel that like um, I always feel that uh, like California. Although, because I have family out in California, and they'll be like, "It's raining," and I'm like, "Uh huh." You guys need rain. I think your aquifers are definitely depleted. <laughs> but in any case, I'm sorry it's raining for you, but I'm happy that you're working on putting those water back in your aquifers so you don't have to take it from the Hoover Dam. But in any case, <laughs> I think that's where it comes from. In any case, okay. Yes, Jill, I'm with you. I like that 72, 76. Katie just said she shared it, so oh, she thank is you, Katie. here. I wasn't sure. Oh, Marie, you're in North Central Illinois. Well, good for you. I mean, so I'm having a baby shower the weekend after um, Easter. So it's the last weekend of April. And um, I just said to my cousin, I was like, you know, I'd love for you to help me with flowers because she's really good at 
floral arrangements and things like that. But then we were brainstorming like, well, what flowers are in? Because it's too early for peonies. Tulips might be done. They may still be there. It just kind of depends because obviously we'd like to use as many things that we have in aunt's backyards, grandma's backyards, mom's backyards, like that type of thing. And then supplement with some different flowers that we would get from a floral shop just because I like using outdoor flowers. Plus it's a, it's a cost prohibitive thing too, you know? Um, but I was thinking to myself, like you already have lilac out that like, what is going to be around when it's time for me to be filling things for a table for a shower at the end of April. So I'll have to keep you posted on what's blooming outside our doors too. That's right. Oh, you just got out of a movie. Katie, what'd you go see? I drove by the movie theater the other day and I thought to myself, I can't tell you the last time I was at the movie theater. Actually, I can. It was two Christmases ago when one of the Star Wars movies came out because my brother always comes home from Boston and we seem to go as a family. And I think that was two years. Just budding. But that's pretty impressive. I will say it's impressive. Okay. Let's see here. Rachel's doing some more sharing. I know, I just, well, I I know that some Katie issues. had done some Hopefully shares. Hopefully I shared to my group, I think. All right. Well, let's I see, see here. Katie's shares we got a nice out, amount so of people watching good. us. So well, I think that it must be. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. So we started our week out here sick. Um, oh. <laughs> my family had that nasty flu. I went to a concert Sunday and about halfway through, I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, this isn't going to happen. I thought I was fine and it just like came on like that. So yeah, we were all under the weather. Um, all day Monday, pretty much. But Sunday night, my mother was a saint. She stayed and she took care of the kids. I was so blessed to have her. And um, now she's sick today. So she oh. got it. Poor thing. But so that's how our week started. So if you've had any delays in your shipping, everything has shipped as of now. But thank you guys for your patience. And I know it was a little quieter at the start of the week. So thank you for that. Um, a couple things. Oh, if Jake is on. Is Jake on? Hopefully we didn't go out. Can Maybe you I'll still see us? And yeah, us. can you see us? I got a low network. Oh, Dumbo comes out already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you want to holler up to him? Sure. Okay. So um, a couple things, maintenance things. Um, tonight's live is going to be a mini live. We just have a few new things that have arrived that we're going to show you. And then um, we also have, I'm going to have new goodies arriving, I think tomorrow and Friday. So one thing that I just want to touch base on, because I've had a lot of people requesting um, pre-claims from me. And you guys know, a lot of you know, I don't do pre-claims. Um, and I do that because I love to have the inventory in my hands to know that it's here, it's arrived. Um, an awesome item today, my order was quite shorted. And had I done pre-claims, then a lot of you would have been really disappointed when it got here. And I didn't actually have those items. So I love to do um, the lives because you guys get to see how everything fits. I can tell you how things are going to fit and really detail those out for you. And I carry such a large stock and my orders are so big that I hope to always have enough to cover what you guys are after. Um, but then of course, I am able or I try as hard as I can to track down what you're looking for. So just to go over why I don't do pre-claims is those reasons that, um, you know, sometimes we have items that are canceled. People are doing pre-claims on items that are coming out in four to six weeks from now. And sometimes those items don't pass quality check and don't even leave headquarters. And sometimes our orders are shorted and sometimes things don't fit like we maybe originally thought. So um, to avoid a whole lot of like chaos with that, I don't do pre-claims and I stick to doing lives like this. So I hope that works for everybody and y'all understand why I don't do them. Um, but I just wanted to touch base as a group and let you all know because I've had several messages lately um, to see if people can pre-claim things. And I just want you to know that across the board, I do lives this way so that y'all have a fair chance to see everything and are able to claim everything and have a fair opportunity to be able to get it. So I hope that makes sense. And I appreciate you guys who always tell me that you love how um, we run this because yeah. I hope it's helpful for you, especially having my size and Liberty size because there are things that are very different um, styled on us. Yes. So, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to do my little bit of like housework maintenance and cover that business side of things. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so, okay, well, we are starting tonight out in the weekend top. This is a really fun top that I love for spring, especially yes. here um, where we don't have super high temps yet at this time of year. This is a really great layering piece for spring. Um, like I said, it's called the weekend top. I'll get close so you can see. This is a really pre pretty green, like a lighter um 
I, would you say sage green? Yeah, kind of a lighter a sage, a celery. That's a great color description. So this is a celery color and um, it just has an ivory stripe with it. Really pretty. And if I think you guys can probably kind of see it has a little bit of fuzz to it. It's super soft, like the softest thing we may have ever had. I yes, think very, maybe very even soft. softer than baby suede. And they are so comfortable. They're really cute because they feature buttons. Um, so, and then they have this cute little high cut detail and a longer back. So you get just that fun accent here. Now I am sized down here to an extra small. I'm a true size um, six on top, eight on bottom. I tend to be a small on top, but I'm going to also try on a small so that way you guys can see this. I have this layered over a cami tank, which just so y'all know, a lot of people have been requesting them. So I restocked them quite heavily and I even have more still on the way. So cami tanks, um, more are coming, but if you're after those, they are on my site right now. There's a good stock of them um, at the moment and then more are on the way. So make sure to snatch up cami tank. Those I suggest to size up one in um, just because they run a little bit more fitted. So I'm going to size medium in the cami tank. And then this one right now I opted to size down one to an extra small. Still gives me a nice sleeve length. It's quite stretchy. So a good stretch to the fabric. And I need to look up the price on these because I can't remember. Um, but I think they're a pretty great price point for um, a nice button down top. Then they have these cute button details. And what's nice about them is that of course you can wear them unbuttoned, which yes. Liv is going to show you guys today. But you can also do a cute little knot in the front. Um, we'll see if I can do this without really being able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, you can just kind of do a loose knot or you can actually knot them and then kind of tuck in the back and have another cute way to style this top that's a little bit more uh, long, you know, a little bit shorter if you don't yes. want something so loose and flowy. That's so cute. really cute. I'll look up the price on this while Lib shows you hers. And then I'm going to show you guys another color in this one. So I have this on in the charcoal and I have chosen to do the three, but do you see how that it kind of has like the room, like the dolmens do? So 32. I think these are only 32. 32 for these. Oh wow. That's a great price point. And, um, just to give you an idea of how the length is on me. So it is covering my bottom. I would uh, definitely wear a tank under these I have a tank on as well um, but I will say that when I am in this larger size do you see how I have more room in my arm just like I have more room here and if you are bustier I would say I, you wouldn't want to size down so like Rachel had said you know that she is wearing the extra small when she usually does wear a small top that um, let's see my A&D size is medium but other sizes is large so you, Nina you're gonna want to do the medium um, you know, Connie, when I had said, I was like, this is like a Hachi, but not a dot Hachi, you know, but do you remember some of the it's dusters, but it is even softer. It is a very, very, you can kind of see like just this beautiful. I mean, I, I really am liking these. These are very soft. And I also find that like we can um, very easily, you know, pull the sleeves up like this. I like to have my sleeves up and out of the way and there's no tightness. Like these are definitely not too tight at all. So I have plenty of room in this. And like I said, uh, if you were less busty, you could size down one in this. So if you wanted to do that, if I did the extra extra large in this, I still don't think it would be like, oh, that shirt is too tight on Liberty. So let's see here. This top is called the Weekend Top, which rightfully named. It's going to be in four beautiful colors tonight. Rachel's going to have, Rachel had it on in that color that it's actually green. We called it celery, but do you remember what the actual color? It should be right up here. Oh, okay. Hold on. Olive. Olive. Okay, so it's celery. olive, but it's definitely like a celery green. And this one is the charcoal. And these are only $32. So if you're making a list right now, kind of writing down, um, this is definitely one. And you're also going to see it in a, I'm going to put it on the copper. And Rachel's trying it on in the mango right now. And she's styling hers up like a little more dressy. So the first, first two that you have seen is truly kind of like that weekend feel, you know, a simple flat. Rachel had hers on with a pair of Sperry's, one of the classic jeggings and just like easy does it, easy going to and from, running to the grocery store, going to a soccer game. I know what T-ball is starting, that type of thing. So if these are colors of like one of your kid's teams, it might be a fun way. I always try to think of fun ways to wear these as sports apparel. If you don't want to just always be wearing team gear, it's fun to just get things that are in the colors of your team as well. Um, so yeah, this is just a great neutral charcoal and I've just paired it with kind of a fun necklace that just brings in those colors for summer. All right. So Rachel's styling hers and she'll be on in just a second, but I'm going to try on my other combo, which I'm going to do some pattern mixing for you. So you have an idea of how these can go over an existing print that you have or even a, an existing, um, 
you know, I really like it with polka dot or even floral. So I've picked a floral that you have seen before recently. And uh, for those of you that are jumping on, I just want to mention that we are showing these new pieces today that we do have in stock. But we also, Rachel, you told them we're going to do our like top favorite. No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't okay. Okay. Close. So, uh, we each have picked out some of our spring favorites from years past, um, or, or last current. or current or current. So we've picked out three styles that are like my top three spring styles and Rachel's top three spring styles. And then we each picked out an Easter look. So that's kind of fun tonight. So if you stick around for the end, we're going to just show, throw a whole bunch of styling and a whole bunch of stuff at you. And those are things that you will be able to shop as soon as you are looking at them because they are already loaded so anyway Rachel can tell you a little bit more about that but um yep. she's okay. got it in this mango okay so this is the weekend top I see people asking this is the weekend top they're $32 um I I first showed it in this olive which is like a celery the fabric content in it it's 90 or I'm 49% cotton, 46% polyester, and 5% spandex. So that's why you get a nice stretch to it. Um, but this one is the mango. So it's uh, like the mustard, but it I'd say it's like the mustard, but a little softer, a little bit more on the berry or like a true mango. If you cut open a mango, this is kind of the color that you would see. So it's really cute. Now this one, I am sized um, up here to a small, so or my true size. The previous one, I was in an extra small to show you that size. So this one I have tied. I have it paired with the country road pant to kind of show you like a super comfy pant paired with a really comfy shirt. This is a great combo um, for summer. And I have on the navy pant, not sure if you can see the color just with all all the different colors going on here. Um, but I also paired it just with a gray top underneath. I love yellows and grays kind of paired together. And so I thought that was a cute combo. So I will undo this so you can see what a small looks like. But yeah, 32 bucks for these, you guys. And they're so soft, but they are going to be so comfortable um, for a weekend top, like really loungy and soft. But as you can see, you can kind of dress them up and you can still wear them to work um, and wear them out and about. But they are just going to be that great layer to get you kind of into spring when you want a cute layer. <laughs> Hi, everybody who's hopping on. Um, okay, so here is the small. So this is my true size small. I put this one on originally and I was like, oh, it's just too big. You know, I'm not real busty, so I don't have a real big bust to kind of fill this out. And I just really felt that the extra small was more the size for me. It was just a better fit. I'm the size extra small. Is that what I said? Yeah. I like to size down one in it. So if you're about my size, size six, eight to even 10, 12, I would say you can go ahead and you can size down in this. And then like Liberty said in her size, I, did you say you could size down or you thought that you liked or your arms were bigger. Yeah, if you're not real busty, then you can go ahead and flex down a size, but just to give you an idea. So I really liked going down one size in this to get a little bit um, less movement in the body. Um, Jenny, you would want to do an extra, extra small. Yeah, isn't that fun, you guys? Everybody who's saying, like, the shop looks different. Yes, we are in a different spot today. As you can see, the shelving and everything is different. So we thought we would move this to a different location for today's live and see how it goes. Um, arms are fine. So this is, this is up a size. But even when I had that size down, the arm length was good. It was generous. And the fit was not too snug. Um, I'd be concerned with going down two sizes that you'd get too tight in the arm. So I would only suggest going down one size. As you can see, it has more of that dolman style sleeve. Um, and at this point, it would kind of get a little snug if you went down two sizes. So just down one in these. But yeah, really cute. So, so far we've seen the olive, the mango, the charcoal, and then Lib's going to show you the last one. Ta-da! <laughs> this is the copper which I love because it also matches my hair. But I also, there's a lot of just fun things about this great color for summer. I have it on here with the Muse, one of the short sleeve Muses. And this is the Teal Coral Floral. So the Teal Coral Floral, that's a mouthful, is actually currently already in stock and available. And this just makes for a fun combination. And it's a great way to pattern mix. Um, and I like this open. So it's truly more like uh, cardigan style if you like more of a, you know, like an open style cardigan. Because I even like how this lays if you were to wear it like truly open and to the sides. 
you know, you got that great length in the back. Um, I have cuffed the arm here. I, you will hear me say this time and time again, I like my sleeves out of the way, so I do like this up. Um, but it's just a neat way to see how over top of an existing shirt that you may already own the Sagnus and Dora or something that is a beautiful floral print or even a polka dot, that this really goes well because of it. So let me get close for you so you can see this color and how great it is. So it's like a true, true copper. Yes, it's going to, I mean, I have paired it with some orange and some neutral here, but I really do love this. So Lynn, I have this on in the three, but as I had mentioned earlier, um, the Muse I have on in the two and uh, this over in a three, but do you see how I really could do the two as well? Um, it, and they're meant to kind of be that like over oversized, you know, top. But if you are not overly busty and your arms are not larger, um, I do think you could size down in that one size like Rachel has talked about. So you could definitely do a 2X if you were kind of like, should I do a 2? Should I do a 3? If you're smaller chested, absolutely you can go down one. But you can see very easily um, me who, if you haven't watched before, I really am usually like a size 20, 22, but I'm expecting right now. So I can't smush down the stomach as much as I uh, used to. Uh, so you can see how there is room in this where I could do this in a two as opposed to three, but I do love this mix together. Um, I love the length of everything. Just a classic jegging and a great old flat. Like this is very comfortable throwing a crossbody and be on, be on with your Saturday. So it's orange -ish. It is definitely a copper. Let me just get a little bit closer for you here. Um, so it reads copper more than brown, um, but it is kind of a fun neutral. I, I mean, I don't want to say it's a neutral. It's not. But when you get, you see how when I step away from the camera, uh, you see less of the stripe and it kind of reads as like one color. Definitely, I like to wear them at work, so I think I'll size down. Yeah, that'd be great. Hi, it's Rhonda. Really Thanks for joining us. But yeah, I would say this definitely reads more orange uh, copper than true copper as opposed to a uh, brown. But I just, I like this pattern mix. Mm -hmm. I love that it's together. It's pretty. It's pretty indeed. All righty. Yeah. Did I get another one on? Okay. Well, one thing I wanted to say when I, I do this, I skip over like the pants I have on and that kind of thing. One thing I wanted to say was that for those of you who like the original jegging that don't have the back pocket or the elastic in the waistband, I know there are a handful of us out there that love them. Them. I was able to restock a few sizes in them, so make sure to check those out. Um, they are $48, but these are the original ones, so I was able to get a few more of them. I believe in the olive color, which is really brown, and then also some in the dark denim, and I still have a few lingering from before. So if you like those, make sure to snatch them up because I think this was kind of like the last hurrah of them, and I don't think we'll be seeing them back again in that original without the back pocket and without elastic. Um, Lynn, she's having a boy. Yes, yes, we did announce it. Um, in the she did a little live in the group and said she was having a boy. So just wanted to touch base on those um basic or the original jeggings. My tank is gray stripe. Yes, it is. Okay, so I will go ahead and start covering um this tank. Hey Diane. Um, it's funny, another Diane popped on here and she was like better late than never. <laughs> I think she said the same thing as you, but yeah, happy to have y'all on here. Okay. So this tank is the new paneled tank in gray stripe. It's gorgeous. Now this was the item that I made mention of at the beginning that, um, I was shorted quite a few of, or that were out of stock that I couldn't get, um, in this particular, in this particular new tank. So I'm going to detail it out in the size that I'm in. Liberty is going to show them to you and, uh, um, we're going to just hope that everybody can get their size. And if not, hopefully if you're patient, more will pop up that we'll be able to get down the road or in a few days. Um, yes, you'd be extra, extra small in this, Kathy. So, okay. So this is the paneled tank, panel tank, and I'm in the gray stripe. Liberty is going to show you guys the black. Um, this tank is $46. These have a lot of detail to them. I'll see if I can get close to kind of give you an idea, but see the texture in this fabric. It's really stretchy. So it has a lot of nice stretch to it. And then it's got this great kind of like waffled texture to it. Um, but it's really high end. And then you have these, the paneling details across the front and then also 
again across the back you get some paneling um, which is a lot of what gives this tank the price point that it is so these are $46 they are a high low effect so you get that nice longer back and it's a shorter front I have them paired here with the moto jegging um, just because I loved the grays together and then paired with a heel so you can kind of like dress these up or dress it down a little bit Liv's going to show you the styled in a really fun way as well I just wanted to show you the basics of it so I am in a size medium here I'm sized up one because sadly I couldn't get any in a small which would be my true size so this is the medium and it actually is really cute even a little bit oversized so just to be aware of that as well when you are doing your shopping today that if I don't have your size you can certainly flex in these and it's going to be darling I mean I love this um I if I wasn't so kind to y'all I'd probably keep the medium for myself <laughs> but I'm going to give y'all a chance because I know that these were highly sought after and they're really cute so the armhole is great even on the medium it's definitely not too low it's not showing anything doesn't show my bra line or hang too low um so these I'm going to say are true to size you're going to want to stay in your true to size but you can certainly flex up one if you would like and I think that you're going to find if you're plus size you're going to maybe like to go up a little bit just to add a little bit add of length in the front um if if you have a little bit more um uh, up in the chest or in your belly that you want to cover it's going to make it a little bit shorter so you might want to size up to get that little bit of added length but yeah so cute sizing on these is going to be true to size elizabeth um except i am i'm in a medium here which is one size up for me but i still really like the fit of this and notice that the um, neckline is not too low that i don't have to wear a cami with because i'm certainly modest in that regard and i would wear a cami if i felt like it was too low but it's definitely not so that you don't have to worry about but you can pair them with uh, Cami, um, Becky, you do not claim here when the live ends, all of the new inventory will be loaded to my shopping site, shoprachelclark.com. That is so that everybody has a fair chance to do their shopping and knows what sizes they're going after and what items after all they see, get to see all the new stuff, um, is then they'll know what you're shopping for and you can go ahead on the site and you can do your claiming there. So, um, hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I think Liberty is ready to show you this all on her. It's so cute. So, okay, she is here. Okay, so you just saw the gray on Rachel, and this is the black and white. And I really love this. And so this is two of the new pieces paired together. Um, in fact, Rachel's going to have this on in two separate um, colors for you. But I got to remember the name of this jacket. Hold on a second. Jet Setter Jacket. And I have, this is, a, this is the faded black. Both of these pieces I have on in the three. Um, but I really do, can you see how, can you see how this is like, well, what do I want to call this fabric? It's kind of like a microfiber-ish, micro suede. Yes, but it has a little bit more, um, it has just a little bit more, like it doesn't, it's not as grippy, I guess you could say. Um, grippy as the other ones are. Um, so this tank, Gail, that I have on, I'm going to tell you exactly because I'm going to dig out the little sticker here and tell you. It is the paneled tank. So the important thing about this too is I'm going to uh, be sure to show this to you um, how it's styled, but I also want to take this off so you can kind of see the coverage on the arms, the coverage on the back, the coverage on the butt. So um, as you can see in the back, it's got a lot of nice coverage, but this is the definition of a high-low if there was one, honey. So it gets, uh, as Rachel had mentioned, this is definitely one that if you want to have some more modesty, that I have a tank on underneath here that's longer, that's kind of like extending it, but I still think that the way that it falls and hits, it's going to cover your tummy completely, and you're not going to have any like, is that too short for me? Um, but as you can see, it's got the great panel and that's why it's called the panel tank but it's a fun to see how they have just layered the patterns in different ways so that it kind of creates the movement um, the jet set to the bomber I would say are very uh, same across the board in the sense of sizing yeah they're gonna be same across the size um, so I really do love this and as Rachel had mentioned there's a little bit of this waffling that's happening um, but it's a great texture it feels very lux luxurious um, it's a good weight with some stretch without it feeling like too slinky. So I think that's important too. Um, you could wear a long sleeve under here. You could wear a short sleeve under here. Uh, you could wear the jacket over it like I had it on earlier. Uh, but I think that any way that you were, I'm saying if you want to be, have some more modesty with your arms, cause I know that's a question that we have come up a lot. 
about maybe ways to style something that have some more modesty with the arms. But I really do like this. So Rachel had it on in the gray, and this is the black and white that I have it on. And this top is 46, and the jacket that I had on with it um, is... 60. 60. So that jacket that I had on this is 60. And Rachel's going to have it styled in two different colors for you here too. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. She was looking for something. <laughs> so I was just checking. But anyway, um, if you have questions, please ask away. Oh, I was looking for a bomber. Ah, okay. Okay. Because I saw that somebody had asked if this, or I heard somebody had asked if this, what the differences were sizing between this and a bomber. So yes, this is the Jet Setter jacket here. Isn't this cute? This color is toffee. Um, so I'm going to show you here compared to the mocha. So this is the mocha, um, the mocha in the bomber jacket here. So to give you guys a little bit of a side by side, if I get close, you can kind of see those necklines. So they have a really similar neckline. They both zip up. Um, they both have pockets, like the same placement of pocket, and they both have the band along the bottom. So they're quite similar in style. They've got the band on the sleeve. Um, the really the only difference here is going to be your fabric content and that these are a little bit more lightweight and spring ready. So um, while the bomber jacket Jackets are something you can wear throughout spring. This is really a much lighter weight. And because it's not in that knit jegging fabric, you know how this one's the knit jegging and it's got kind of that line. Um, you know, the, I don't think they're quite as dressy looking as the Jet Setter jacket is. So the Jet Setter jacket is like Liberty said, it's kind of like a microfiber, micro suede kind of feel. It's so soft um, and it's nice and thin. These are they have a silky inside, so they're really soft. This is not lined, but that's how the inside of the fabric is. So it's really silky and soft, so it moves well on you, and it's cool. It's cool when it's on you. It's not like a really warm layer, um, which makes it just really great for spring. Um, so the difference, yes, is the fabric, Stephanie. It is. Um, because they're the same length. I am in a size small here, which is the size that I do prefer in the bomber jacket. So I would say if you have a bomber jacket, stay in that same size. And if you don't and you're looking um, at getting one of these or a bomber, then you're going to want to stay in your true to size. Everybody really likes their true to size. They still have great stretch. So you can see that there's nice stretch. And um, the fabric is not as stretchy as the knit jegging material that the bombers are made out of, but it still has plenty of room that it doesn't feel constricting or anything like that. So stay in your true to size in these, and then you do have that great stretch that's in the waistband and then in your cuffs, um, so it's really comfortable. And again, these are $60, so a really great price point for a really nice jacket like this. And I'll go ahead and I'll tell you about the shirt that I have underneath. I know I always forget, but I just love this, and I love this color because it is a great neutral, um, and it's just kind of along that lines of like a dark camel color, and I love it. I love it. Love it. So that is this one. And it's going to be really nice throughout summer. And it will also be nice when you're getting into starting to dress for fall and adding those layers and putting on a scarf with it. It's going to be really, really cute. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jessica. So, okay. The top that I have on with it, this is one I have in stock already. So if you're shopping the site right now, or if you're not, you can be shopping all of these things that we already have in stock. This is the a uh, love top. So this is a three quarter sleeve, um, love top. So it's got the longer sleeve on it. It's a black background and it's just got this really pretty rose pattern and it's got that same toffee kind of color in it. So it really paired nicely with that. So this is the same fit as our current love tops, um, or the new style or sizing. I am in an extra small. I fluctuate between an extra small and a small in the new love tops. Um, either one is a fine fit for me. So it'd be my true size or down a size. And then I have it paired with the Boulevard pant. So the Boulevard pant in black and these are just really a great go-to pant and they kind of have some of that same color stitching on it. So it just tied it all together. But yeah, this is really cute. This love top, I'll tell you the um price of it because i can't remember offhand these love tops are forty dollars um for this style with the three-quarter sleeve and they're just really comfortable baby suede super stretchy and really soft so i think that covers that one you up miss lib yes i am okay okay so this begins our three this is my first 
of my three spring looks that I've picked. Uh, just because we felt that this time of year was a great opportunity to kind of show you some of the things that we had in stock or pieces you may have at home and how they can be paired for great spring looks. And this is one of my absolute favorites. I actually found a picture the other day that was from like three years ago and I had on an A&D. Um, it must have been right when Rachel had started. Has it been three years now or is it two? Yeah. Oh, so it was three years ago. But this has just been a classic in this ruffle tunic since the beginning. But this great print is one that we have been um, re introduced to recently. And this is the olive blush floral. And um, I also have this on with the blouse on cardigan, which I have tied in the back, which gives it kind of like that openness. You can very well close this up and tie it in the front if you want. There's definitely room to do so. This is just how I've chosen to style it. A classic black legging as well, which Rachel just restocked. So if you are in the market for some classic black leggings, she has them in all the sizes, including the extra large, which is great for anybody that's wearing the sizes up to the three X. So, right Rhonda? I think that like, well, and that was the point where I was like, let's pick a few spring outfits. Rachel's got three, I've got three, where all of the pieces we have in stock. So it would be something that you could wear to a shower, graduation, uh, Easter, all of those things. So we have each have three spring looks and then we're also have an Easter look too. Um, but this is just a classic with this ruffle tank. I love it with the gold and um, this blouse on cardigan, which is actually listed as ivory. And I will say it is a very nice white ivory. So if you're wanting something that isn't that much of a yellow ivory, this is definitely going to be your ticket. So this is the blouse on cardigan. And then I almost wore the exact same thing to work today. Crystal, you are on it then. <laughs> I am impressed. You are on it. And then this ruffle tunic. So here is my first kind of fun spring look. And these are all pieces. The ones that you're going to see from now till the end of the show are all pieces that are already currently loaded up on the site, which means you can put them in your cart right now. And then when Rachel loads new inventory, you can add those things. Liberty, what have you tried country? Have you tried the country road pant? Yeah. These are the ones that Rachel just had on. Yes. And I wear the three in those. Uh, they came in a navy, a black, and then a charcoal, an army green. Yes. Or like oh, a camel. and I loved the, there was like an olive, olive that was beautiful. And I know that that one is in stock in the 3X because I happened to check today. But uh, Vicki, yeah, I was very true to size on that. On my bottoms, I'm usually always uh, three. Uh, only in the tops might I, you know, go down to like a two or something. But Vicki, I did wear the three in those. So there's my look number one. Rachel's got look her look number one coming up. Okay, so um, the deep pocket tunics are one of my favorites for spring. I remember, I think these first came out like last year's spring. And I remember that I thought they were like the perfect thing for running errands, which I hate doing in the winter, or like going on any type of shopping trips and that kind of thing. And I remember our first time out like spring shopping last year, I wore a deep pocket tunic because I was like, this is perfect. Like it's a great layer. I look cute. I don't have to wear a jacket and I'm comfortable in it. So deep pocket tunic, this is one of my favorites for spring. And now we have way more color options and different prints than we originally had last year when they first came out. Um, this particular one is a beautiful, like it's almost a green blue background, kind of a teal color. And then it's got these great florals and it's just fun. I have paired again, like Liberty said, with just a black legging um, that I actually have pulled up into a capri length um, because it's capri season. So I would just wear this with a cute pair of tennis shoes and it would be perfect. So, um, this is one of my favorites. They're $44. I am sized down one in this one, so I'm in an extra small, but I just absolutely adore this look. And black leggings, I did restock them, but uh, like I said with the knit jeggings, I think this is like the last hurrah for black leggings um, in the same style that we currently have. I don't know if new ones are going to be coming or what the plan is, but I think it was maybe like my last chance to restock. So if you like black, our black leggings, stock up on them. I was telling Lib, I just had somebody like two days ago buy five pairs because I think that like people are catching wind that leggings um and what we currently have if more come out they're probably just going to be special editions and more limited so if you like our leggings make sure to grab them um while they are still available I do have a bunch of other solid colors still and a few prints so just a heads up on that but yeah black leggings are a must so make sure to grab those because they're comfortable and I mean I know like we all talk about like we've worn them out like worn them worn them worn them where you're finally like okay I better cave and get a couple more pairs but they're fabulous so this is just my first um comfy spring go-to outfit and let me see Christine I see your question 
Um, the wrap maxi skirt. I do a smaller or a medium, but I'm more comfortable in a medium. So more comfortable going up a size and don't apologize. I'll answer questions as I can. So don't be sorry. So I, um, go up one size, uh, in those skirts just for comfort and a little bit more length. New love tops, are they longer? They're not yet, Carly. They're the same as they originally were, but they're a slimmer fit, so they look a little bit longer um, because they're that little bit more of a slim fit. Now, I have, I do believe that new love tops coming down the road are going to be a little bit longer. So, yeah. So, anyways, that covers this one, and I hope they answered your question. Christine, pop up another question if you have another question. And Liberty is going to come on out in her next spring look. Yes. Okay, so this, I I have always liked this print. And when this first came out, uh, I remember it hit like, maybe during the time of year where you're like, is that a fall color or is that a spring color? So this is a spring color that you may have forgotten about because it's available that's been around. Um, I do love this one because it has this great detail and it has, it's a th it's, this is the three quarter length. I'm sorry, it's a three-quarter slift shift tunic dress, and this print is the charcoal blush floral. But you'll see all of these great colors that are in it. So I think that they mean that this background is charcoal. It's definitely more of like a bluish charcoal. Oh, thank you, Teresa, for answering that. 22 for the leggings. Um, and so this is the charcoal blush floral. This is the three-quarter sleeve shift tunic dress. It's got pockets. It's got pockets. Um, and I just have it on with a classic black jegging and then, of course, a sandal that is the ode to spring. Uh, I'm ready for it. But, um, but I love the length. I don't think this is, like, too tight in any way. There's definitely enough room in the bust, which is uh, a thing for me. And then their arms. There's definitely room in the arms. But I think this is just a fun way. And it's nice just to have, like, one piece that you could put on with a pair of leggings. But the length of this is long enough that I wouldn't fear for wearing this with a bare leg. Um, so if you wanted to do this with a bare leg and a mule or a bare leg and uh, any type of a heel or a sandal, that I just still have these leggings on because it still could be chilly this time of year. Um, I do need to look up actually really quickly. The uh, price of this one so that you know. Um, let's see here. They're 48. So this is a great dress for 48. Um, I'm just going to quickly plug Rachel's phone oh, in because there was like a little blurb. Um, so let me see here. You're going to get a real good look at my new hair. And then uh, hopefully this is going to do this. Liberty, I think I'm about your size, but maybe a little bootylicious. Girl, I am bootylicious too. What do the weekday pants fit you? I think that's what they're called. I wore th I wear three in the weekday and I didn't feel like there was too much in the hips. I'll back up for you just so you, I, you know... I'm definitely a 22 on the bottom. So, uh, I mean, maybe that's helpful, but I would say Savannah go with the three and that was definitely, I was very happy with how that was fitting. Um, so let me just get you back to center here. There we are. But this was my look number two, um, because I think this was like, it was one of those funny things where this print came out at a time where we were like, is that spring or is it fall? <laughs> and so we just want to remind you that this beautiful dress exists as a piece that would be great for your uh, spring wardrobe as well. Okay. All right, so my second look is the jumpsuit. Um, and not even just particularly this jumpsuit, but jumpsuits in general are so in style right now. You will see them all over every catalog you look at. Um, every fashion website are jumpsuits. And I know there's something that's like out of our, a lot of our comfort zones. I know when they first came out, I was like, oh, I don't think I can pull off a jumpsuit. Is a jumpsuit really my style? Um, but they are really darn cute. So this particular one, this is the belted jumpsuit in mauve it comes in several different colors I like this one um I should have tied this tighter like I had it um but I like this one because it blouses a little bit so it kind of gives me a, like I feel like a two-dimensional like I still have a waistline in it and it's a cute cropped length um so I really do like this one and I like the fun dolman sleeve on it the button details on the front and the v-neckline I just really 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 um love these so this is the belted jumpsuit and like I said it comes in several colors it's this really great wit ribbed fabric that's nice and soft and 
I don't know. They're just great. They're $50, $52 for this particular one. But there are, I don't know, like four or five different jumpsuits on our site right now. So make sure to check those out because they might be out of your comfort zone, but doesn't mean you can't give them a try and um, see if there's something that you can pull off or that you'd like. One thing that I absolutely love with this one, which I don't think I have my size, but I'm going to pull one to show you, um, is if you or the right color is if you have a cascade cardigan or any type of or cascade vest or any type of a vest it's a really 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 great way to break up a jumpsuit and this one is not my size so it's going to be a little bit oversized but to give you um an overall idea of how you can break up a jumpsuit um but still have the comfort of the one-piece outfit and also the cost advantage of buying a one-piece outfit and you get that fun look and it's a great way to ease into like the jumpsuit idea is by pairing them with something like this. So the Cascade um, vests are one of my favorites. Like I said, this one's oversized, so it's a little bit longer than it should be on me. But I love these two together, which maybe not this color combination, but if you have Cascade vests, these are adorable. To add a little tie or take your tie out and then put the cascade vest on and that breaks up your jumpsuit, but you still get the comfort and the look of a jumpsuit, but it broken up. So hopefully you guys can get the gist or the idea of this, even though it's not quite the right size. Had I thought about this before, I would have pulled my mine out of my closet to show it to you with. So I am in a size, good question. I should probably tell y'all, huh? So I am in a size small in the jumpsuit. So that is my true size. That's the size that I do prefer. I'm um, actually in all of our jumpsuits and I would prefer to be in a size extra small in the Cascade vest. If you're looking at those or want me to track you one down, they are still out there and able for us to find. But I like size small in all of our jumpsuits. I tend to find that they're pretty true to size um, and fit in the body. So this particular one, you need a waistband on or a, you need a belt um, because otherwise it's just such a straight cut. So you definitely want to belt it. Um, this is also cute. And again, I don't have it out here, but it's cute with your own belt. So if you don't love this tie there, it's really cute if you have like a little skinny belt to pair that with this one as another option. So that is the jumpsuit details. Hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have jumpsuit questions, let me know because I do love like the gathered v-neck jumpsuits. I Those I just adore. These are really cute. And then what is one of my other favorites? It is the, oh, I love the new everyday jumpsuits. There's too many to pick from. And then um, the straight leg v-neck is like my absolute favorite jumpsuit. So <laughs> Jill, I don't know why you haven't gotten one, but you probably should. <laughs> okay. So I am on look number three, which I don't know if you guys have experienced these heritage dresses yet, but they are just beautiful. Um, it came in three different prints, which I'll just quickly show you the three of them. But I wanted to just, um, to for me, it's a floor length, which is wonderful, which means if you're a little bit shorter, I am 5'7", so if you're a little bit shorter, you can uh, just put a nice little heel on with this and it just kind of pops it a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit, so stick with me. Uh, but I do love that there's the two different patterns and that will be something that you will notice on another one of the patterns. This beautiful tie in the back. This would be great for Easter, uh, but this is just very effortless. You also don't have to shave because it's covering your whole leg, which is a, <laughs> so you can get a pedicure for your cute tootsies, but you don't have to shave in this one. Um, I actually have on one of the Navy tanks just for some modesty right there, but yes, Liberty. Oh my gosh. I said yes, Liberty when I meant to say yes, Teresa. Thank you. I think this is wonderful. And if you're, if you're trying to like hide tummy or you're not so happy with your arms or you don't like your hips or something like that, this is that dress that has just got that beautiful wrap flow to it. And it is so nice. Um, so it also came, the heritage wrap dress also came in this perennial rose sienna, which is, is just as beautiful and stunning. It has a very deep background in the black and it has this green color that we are seeing, the sagey green that we're seeing a lot this spring and beautiful tri-colored uh, in the flowers. And of course we have the one that I have on, which is called the grand floral gray with dots. So it's got the beautiful dots with the pattern. Oh, you know, we're getting some maternity pictures on Friday and I was thinking about wearing this print, but I might have to do this one because the more I have it on, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. 
Um, and then it came in this third one as well, which is the Heritage Floral Wine, which you will see once again, there's the body pattern on this and then a sleeve pattern on this as well. So those are the three Heritage Wrap Dresses. And that is my third spring favorite that I have for you today. And then I have an Easter look to put on. Rachel's got her third spring favorite coming up right now and she has then an Easter look to put on for you. So, okay. Perfect. Let me get these out of the way. Oh, and this dress is 80. No. Um, no? Hold on. I think they're 70. 70. Nope, they're 88. They're 88. Uh, but, you know, when you think about that price point, like, you could wear it for a lot of different things. And it's your top. It's your bottom. It's a full dress. And it's this beautiful kind of, like fabric that is just going to wear really well so yeah. I like the one you have on it has a blue for your baby boy you're not That's wrong true. Jenny yeah and the other thing about these you know in the price point and because we asked headquarters as well I mean that's a higher price point yes. for us is that when they talk about the wraps in these how much fabric there's is actually fabric used to here. create a dress like this Absolutely. there's so much fabric in it so much yardage and the length. that that has to do yeah. and with the direction that the fabric has to be cut yes. to be able to Which give I, it this and look. i respect i respect all of that so it's but totally really, worth it if you it's i mean beautiful. how many places i have trouble going to a lot of places and finding a dress for a hundred bucks you yeah. know so it's it's a dress that's under a hundred dollars it's a full that's outfit right. under a hundred so okay perfect Diane, they are not new, but they are definitely ones to celebrate this spring. So the heritage dress, the heritage wrap dress, they are not new, but they're ones to celebrate. And yeah, uh, these came out late fall. Yeah, yeah, it was like Thanksgiving Day. I think that we yes. like we shared them, and it kind of was like one of those things where we're like, man, these would be great for spring. Yeah. Well, here we are showing them with you for spring too. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, Cindy. Yep. A few months ago, before the new year. Yeah. Okay. So my third outfit here is the weekday pant, which I just absolutely love. This are the plum which is they're a really dark rich color plum i am in a size small in the weekday pant which is my true to size i love 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 them um they have pockets they're super comfortable very stretchy these have a great stretch to them and they have a nice stretchy waistband so if you worry about gaining a couple pounds here or there over summer and spring and treats and that kind of thing well you don't have to worry in these because they have a great stretch to them and they're just really a fantastic fit if you have questions about sizing on these with your particular body shape let me know but I find that true to size is gonna be the best for you but they are so comfortable and cute so I am in the plum here and I hit this paired with the ruffle button down which is one of my absolute favorite button downs that we've ever had um, I have my sleeve style different which is throwing me off but here um, is how the sleeve looks it's got this cute little button it's a nice crepey material so it's got a nice texture to it um, it does have a nice stretch for but it definitely is roomy. So I am in my true size small on the top. I love the high low effect from this top that you get and the ruffle detail. So I suggest to stay true to size in the top to be able to get a nice sleeve length and a nice fit um, across your shoulders and in your chest. Even if you're chesty, there's going to be plenty of room. And then you have, I love the high low effect. So you get that full coverage on the back, but um, the in style now, which is the shorter front, um, you know, or not in style now, but that is coming back is having a shorter front front and the top. So I absolutely adore this one. This particular color is the rose. So it's a really, really pale pink, but it just paired really, really pretty with this dark, with the plum pant. Um, it just really was a great pairing and those colors complemented each other really well. So I wanted to show you how the sleeve normally is that you get nice, generous sleeve length. So this is the small, but also how if you want something that's not so warm in the spring or summer that you can definitely cuff that up and still have a really cute look and um, I feel like you can wear this for maybe a longer period of time throughout the seasons, but it's really lightweight. So again, this was one that was released a couple months ago, but it was almost like a little early for spring. And so that's why um, we wanted to show this one again, because it's a perfect weight for spring and a great top. I just have this layered over our cami um, tank, but they're really cute buttoned up. So you don't have to wear a cami with them either. And you can just wear them by themselves. They aren't see-through. Um, you know, our lights always shine through kind of these fabrics a little bit. So they're really cute. The pants are the weekday pant. So they are the weekday pant. They are running true to size, Sandy. Um, they are, they are less than the jegging in tightness, but they are stretchy and a little bit thinner. They're definitely more of a dress pant, a crepe feeling fabric. Um, they are just awesome. So they, 
I could size up to a medium, um, but I noticed that it was a little bit long and in this in the, my front area and I didn't care for that. So I went to go down to my true size or down, I'm kind of in between sizes six and eight. So I opted for a small. If you are a hippie and have um, carry more in your bottom, then go ahead and stay true to size for sure. But if you're kind of in between sizes, then you can go down a size in them. But they are the weekday pant and they have just sold like crazy. They're ones that I keep restocking as I can because everybody has been loving them and and they're really cute. So yeah, so that covers my third outfit, isn't it? My third yes, outfit. Yeah. But yeah, I absolutely love these. So three already. Yes, it's three spring outfits. Okay, so on to Easter because Easter is going to be here before we know it. So I picked out one outfit for Easter. Rachel picked out one outfit for Easter, Easter too. Um, and we're taking some pieces that are new and some pieces that are old that are kind of just going to be like great for putting together for Easter. And I think that it's a true testament to these items from Agnes and Dora and how you can intermix from season to season. Um, I have this on right now, my bottom, I have on the tool mesh skirt um, in the light gray. And I have this on in the three. And I remember when this came out at Christmas time, how you could dress it up, how you could dress it down. But I always felt that the gray was kind of fun that you could wear into winter and then into spring because it acts as a great neutral. So um, I have this tool mesh skirt on the light gray. And then the top that I have under here is just a good old olive favorite tank. Now, um, see, I kind of have this like church ready in the sense of, um, I have my sandals on, I have, uh, well, Easter, I go to church, so that's why I meant church ready. Um, <laughs> uh, and then a nice kind of fun spring bag that ties everything together. But I'll take this off so it's not as distracting. Um, and then I also have the flutter sleeve Cardi. This is the charcoal floral. And I have uh, this one, I love the length on it. And I love the pattern. This is the one with that great sleeve. We showed these to you just last week. And this V-neck to you last week, which is the favorite tank in the olive. Um, I am going to take this off so that you can kind of see how, uh, you know, I have this up here and is it maternity friendly? Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm seven months pregnant, so it is maternity friendly, but you can also see how, if you wanted to put this down more at a natural waistline or you even wanted to have it, you know, further down, then you're just adding length and you can add some things to it. Uh, and this also came in a, a nice selection of colors so that if you were wanting to wear something that was a little bit more like this, um, that you can put that together. So let me just put this back on for you again, but you can see how a lot of these A&D pieces um, are fun for pattern mixing or texture mixing. And Rachel's got a great option on too that is like really fun for pattern and texture mixing. But I feel that this is like a very effortless put together. You could wear a nice nude flat, or I even have this on with a silver, you know, a silver sandal right now and how this is really nice for any time in church, back to the showers, back to uh something spring that you would go to that would be fun so uh thank you danielle hi linda thanks linda thanks cindy yeah i feel this is this is just a great look and i love that it's three pieces the a and d has consistently given us great pieces and how you can i could wear just this top and this uh tank together with a pair of jeans you know so it's kind of like taking that piece and transitioning it into something that's a little bit more dressy um okay so rachel's got her easter look to show you and i have things all over her keyboard so she's still <laughs> going here for a second but um yes perfect okay so my last look um you'll have to excuse my white white legs you know we just got through winter here so <laughs> i've been tanning um but my last look or my outfit my easter outfit idea is this fun faux suede skirt so this was one that came out in our holiday line but it's one that you can carry into spring um where it's just a really pretty cream color it's nice and rich i have it paired with the new jet setter jacket in the what color was this one blush it was Rose water. Yes. So this one you haven't seen yet. This is the rose water. It's a really, really pale, pale, pale pink. It's beautiful. I love the color of this. So I have that faux suede skirt in the cream paired with that rose water jet setter jacket. And then with the sequin tank, um, this one I think was called holiday berries. Yes. Well, and this is like, this I, was again, I pulled a couple of the other sequin tanks. Holiday berries. Too, because it came in this great oh, wine. Yes. But I loved, look at that with the green. If you did, you could still do. Oh yeah. You can pink. do different pairings. 
rings with but this. But this was one of those twos that came out that were great at the holiday, don't get me wrong, but they're like so springy. Yeah. you are just like, oh my gosh, let's put that on with the jacket. Absolutely. Or put that on with the so I thought this jacket. was a really fun, I mean, they're Easter colors, but then yes. just three great pieces that you're going to be able to wear throughout several seasons. Again, mm -hmm. like Liberty said, how A&D produces items that we can wear throughout different seasons and interchange a lot and get a lot of different looks at. I know a lot of you have this tank already. Um, so this is a great combo to think about. The skirt, if you are looking at this faux skirt, for sure size up one. I am in a size medium. You're definitely going to want to go up a size in this particular one. It runs a little snug in the waistband and it is it sits more on your higher waist. Um, but just a lovely, a lovely combo. And one thing, the tanks, like Liberty had shown you a couple other options that there are in this. I'm going to untuck it just so you can see, but this is our essential tank. And we talked about that these, not only are they good for Easter, but they are going to be good all summer long. Yeah. Super cute for like a bachelorette party or if you're going on a party bus or to a shower yes. or to different things. They've got just that little bit of dazzle when you want to put it on. So tanks run true to size. Um, I'm in a size small, but I would say for you, Jenny, do an extra small in this particular one as they're rooming the body. They're going to fit the same in the body as the everyday tee. So the size that you do in the everyday tee, you are going to like in this particular one. Yeah. So um, they're just nice and roomy and they're really cute. So you have that fun sequin detail on the front and then they're just nice and smooth on the back, but you still get that same pattern print. So that covers that. So you guys, well, you got to see some new goodies. I know. New so goodies and new... then also some OGs. And yes. Some, yeah. So the weekend top, the Jet Setter jacket and what was the third? Newbie. Oh, the um, paneled tank. Yes. So those are the three new goodies tonight, along with a whole lot of other awesome pieces. You guys, I have like a 6,000 piece inventory. So if you are new here, there are a lot of items to browse and shop. If you have questions, please let me know. I We're going to hop off of here, get inventory loaded for you on my site. Um, I will comment here and also in my group that inventory is loaded for you to shop. So make sure to be refreshing that shop page. You can search in the panel bar for whatever you're looking for if you can't find it on the page or just if you want to get to it quicker and um always yes. <laughs> always always if you have questions please ask them tag me and things tag rachel and yep. things i stick around for a little bit afterwards so if you're like what does liberty say about this size please just tag me or send rachel a message i'm happy to help we're both happy to yes. help you Anytime. find the right sizing Anytime. for your body so so we'll get inventory loaded shop rachelclark.com and i hope you all have a great night and we will be back or i'll at least be yes. back we haven't figured out the schedule yet but probably another day this week so um for another live with some more great new so stay tuned for that, but have a good night.